Magomed Abdul Salamov versus Jamil McLean. Now, this ain't really much of a prediction because really and truly, Abdul Salamov should win this fight hands down. He shouldn't have too much trouble beating Jamil McLean at this stage, who is way over the hill, overweight, past his prime. Um, he's old and he's completely at the end of his career. He's just literally fighting now for a few easy paydays and that's it. So Abdul Salamov shouldn't have no problem. This is just a showcase um, event for Abdul Salamov um, as he's fighting in Russia on the undercard of uh, Klitschko against Manuel Char. And uh, Abdul Salamov is, is uh, Russian himself, I believe. So, yeah, this is just literally a showcase for him um, against uh, the, the biggest name that he's fought so far in his career. You know, Jamil McLean's challenged for the heavyweight title a few times. So he's the biggest name Abdul Salamov will have faced so far. Now, for those of you who don't know about um, Abdul Salamov, he's a Russian fighter. He's six foot three. He's a southpaw heavyweight. Um who now fights out of Oxnard, California, right? I know there's a lot of fighters training and fighting out of Oxnard, California these days in the United States. And uh, Abdul Salamov has, you know, decided to do the same thing, travel over to the United States and base, his, base himself there, which I think is a good thing um, for reasons I'll get into in a second. Um, but basically, the thing that drew me to Abdul Salamov is I saw a couple of his fights and he don't fight like a typical Eastern European fighter. And I guess, you know, perhaps some of that is the um, American training that he's been getting, you know. So he's a bit more fluid and a bit more aggressive than, you know, the, the typical Eastern European fighters, um, which I like. And also, if you look at Abdul Salamov's record, uh, you know, he's got 15, he's had 15 fights, 15 wins, 15 wins all by knockout. And 10 of those wins have been knockouts in the first round right so he seems to have a lot of power there obviously he's been fighting pretty low level opposition right if, if i just go through his record here on box rec um it's been pretty pretty low level opposition um his last let me see now his last opponent was 13 and 1 the opponent before that was 11 and 0 the opponent before that was 8 and 0 the opponent before that was 15 and 1 um, all, all these guys, I don't recognize many of the names here on, on his resume. The only, the only name I'm recognizing here in his last few fights was a guy called Rich Power, who I believe fought um, Tyson Fury. I think he lost to Tyson Fury on points, if I remember rightly. Was he on points? Let me just check his, his record now. Um, yeah, he lost to Tyson Fury on points uh, over eight rounds. Um, Abdul Salamov knocked him out in three rounds. So, you know, he did a lot better than Tyson Fury there. But yeah, so he's fought pretty low-level opposition. But like I said, Tyson Fury's been fighting pretty low-level opposition. David, uh, David Price has been fighting low-level opposition. Um, you know, most of these prospects coming up, Deontay Wilder, he's been fighting very low-level opposition. So, you know, he's no different than any of the other prospects. Um, but the thing that makes him stand out to me is the fact that he's knocking everyone out. He's knocked everyone out so far and he's got 10 knockouts in the first round. So he's obviously very aggressive with it. Um, the only other thing about Abdul Salamov that people may not know is that he fought David Price in the amateurs and he actually lost to David Price in the amateurs um, on points. Price outboxed him soundly uh, when it was amateurs. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm just looking forward to seeing Abdul Salamov in this fight and maybe seeing a good knockout, you know, and, uh, and maybe he'll, he'll get some bigger fights off the back of this fight, you know, um, 15 fights, you know, another, another three or four fights and he might be challenging for a world title. You never know. That's, that's how it goes in boxing these days. I mean, look at Manuel Char. Who is he for? <laughs> for shot Danny Williams and he gets a title shot. So, you know, for all you know, <laughs> Abdul Salamov might be getting a world title shot next. Who knows? Um, he obviously hasn't really done anything in boxing so far, um, but I'm just, interested in his potential you know given the fact that he does seem to be able to hit pretty hard and he's aggressive with his style and he's get he's getting that, that american training you know I'm, I'm interested to see what he can do you get me i'm just i'm interested to see what he can do that's all i'm not saying he's going to be anything special or anything like that i'm just interested to see what he can do and as far as 
a prediction versus McLean. I'm not even sure. Um, will he stop McLean? I think he'll do well to stop McLean. You know, McLean's a wily old character. Um, you know, he's, he's awkward. He knows the ropes. You understand? So he, he'll do well to stop McLean. You know what I mean? Um, I, don't, I can't remember how many times McLean's been stopped. I think Chris Ariola stopped him. Um, but other than that, who else has stopped McLean? Can't think of anyone else. I think Ariola might be the only guy that I can think of, other than maybe very early in, in McLean's career when he had a few losses. But I don't think anyone else has stopped him. So he'll do well to stop McLean if he can, even an old, out of shape McLean. Be interesting to see if he can uh, maybe knock him out in the first round. You know, we'll see. I mean, McLean, no disrespect, is just an opponent now. He's just, you know, a punch bag with arms, basically. <laughs> He's a heavy bag with arms. So. You know, it's 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 no more than a than a than a showcase for Abdul Salamov, and um, you know, I I expect him to win. Obviously, it's just the manner of the victory. Will it be a knockout? And how easy would a knockout be? Um, let me just check out how many rounds the fight is is uh is scheduled for. Um, does it even say? I think it's a ten round fight. Yeah, it's a ten round fight. So um, you know, may, maybe he'll be able to stop McLean. It'll be it'll be interesting to see anyway. So yeah. Uh, let me know what you lot think about Abdul Salamov in the comments section below. Um, are you interested in his potential? Um, how far do you think he can go in the boxing game? Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. This is Hatman. I'm out.